Hello everyone. This is Jonan Kurosaki here and welcome back to the show. The Dylan Kurosaki show. Where we have fun writing videos together. And it's been a while since we last saw each other. Oh wait, I made a video yesterday. Okay, what the heck. Anyways, today I decided to do a uh, reaction video since I didn't really do a video today. And just for a quick update, I have a job finally. A job opened up for me. And I'm really happy about that because... I didn't really have a chance to actually get to work again and I did that from like 12 to 3 which kind of put a bit of a delay in my video making so that's why I'm making a video now so let's get right into it Today, we are going to do some more horror shorts parties since they put out a series of videos for us to watch. In horror shorts party, I love you guys. I really love you. You guys put so much work into your videos and it deserves to be praised. Because I, I love the way you make these videos for people's entertainment. And... I'm spending my love to you. To everyone watching this video, go and check out Horror Shorts Party. They make great, awesome, they make awesome videos. Go ahead and click that sus subscribe button to Horror Shorts Party. They make awesome shorts. And not just that. They are brilliant talented people voicing the characters from Telus Nicholson to brilliant awesome people anyways let's get one right into this And I'm looking forward to getting back into the Dylan Kurosaki show. Because I haven't done this in a while. And Horror, and Horror Shots Party, you don't know how much I love you guys. You guys put so much work into your videos. Let me just turn over the lights so it gets this started. Because you know... Horror videos come really great in the darkness because that way I can crap my pants. Yeah. Mm. You know, you guys really like it when I get scared. <laughs> yeah, you guys like it when I crap my pants. <laughs> okay, let me just grab the headset. Oh! And one, one more thing, I have this on blast. So prepared for me to crap in my pants. I will. Hashtag Dylan will crap his pants. And we're going to begin with our very first shorts. Right down here. Out of imaginary. This story happened a couple of years ago when I was a freshman in high school. I remember me and my buddy Jay would go play Nikki Nine Door. Nikki Nine Door, what's that? Ditch, which was a game where you would go to a random person's Is that door a new game? and knock while running away before it got answered. Oh, me that's what's called. To do this kind of thing, especially on Friday nights when the school week was over. 
I got maybe a couple modern day now. little rascals looking to get a kick out of seeing any adults become annoyed by our childish antics. <laughs> One day during that guy looks like Cody. Hold on. Sat on the bleachers while collectively discussing. This what guy looks like Cody Kenshin. Like he's wearing the exact same clothes as Cody, and he has the same hair as Cody Kenshin. So it's cool that they're putting Cody Kenshin in their videos now potential houses we could prey on next. That's when Jay suggested our school janitor. Oh no! As he casually I know how this is going to turn out. Floor in front of us. Dude, let's hit his house tonight. Apparently his house is notorious. He's right there. Oh, he's going to know. I don't think that's a good idea, dude. Didn't you hear his daughter died? Oh yeah. Oh. Poor little thing was getting teased too much for having pet squirrels. Pet squirrels? Yeah. She was the laughing stock of the school because it was rumored that Mr. G collected squirrels and brought them home just so his daughter could have some pets. That's so sad! That's weird. What in the hell are you two idiots looking at? See, he really knows. Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't be talking about my daughter or any of my business before I dump this dirty mop water on your Oh, you don't want that's that. That's when Mr. G strolled away that with his mop really bucket, bad your head. while me and Jay looked at each other and thought to ourselves that his house would be the perfect stakeout for Ding Dong Ditch. Oh, later that night. no. A couple hey. hours later, me and Jay would play Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat. Over Kombat. Game on my PlayStation 2 till it was dark enough to go outside and pay Mr. I G's I love that game. As we walked down the neighborhood, Jay pointed out Mr. G's house, which was about two houses down from where we were standing. We played rock, paper, scissors to decide who was going to be the ding-dong ditcher, and, of course, as faith would have it, I lost with scissors, while Jay held rock. I casually approached Mr. G's porch without making it obvious oh boy. to potential onlooking this neighbors is that we were doing anything so suspicious. Bad. As I slowly began to raise my balled up fist to knock the door, it abruptly swang open with Mr. G holding a large baseball bat saying, oh boy. I'm gonna kill you and make you eat my crap, you little squirms. That's when oh, he run! Run! and began to run for our lives while Mr. G chased oh! him with one hand and a long- That's a bad situation, no, now Luto style. Stop running away, you little punks. You all wanted smoke, didn't you? Didn't you? I remember looking back for a split second and could see the crazed look in Mr. Oh! Eyes, almost like he had been anticipating that someone he, would Nicky Nine door his house. He again. knew! That's what he said. As Jay and I glanced to our right, we unhesitatingly made a swift turn towards the direction of a large <laughs> fence with a hole in it, which led to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see the sign? It's a stage. Don't go beyond this point. So why would it go beyond that point? Forest preserve with a warning sign that said danger. Do not go beyond Exactly that point. don't. We both disregarded the sign and quickly ran through the hole in the fence while trying to really? not slip on any branches or tree bark piled along the trail. It was about really? 30 seconds the forest where I found myself hiding behind a large tree, while Jay was hiding behind one across from me. That's when I crouched down as I heard the footsteps of Mr. G stopping mid-trail, <laughs> almost as if he knew we were within his parameters. I clasped both my hands over my mouth and began to pray in my head that he wouldn't approach either of us. Stupid kids. If I ever see you again, I'm gonna rip both of your heads off and feed them to my school. Oh! You hear me? I know you little oh! piece of crap are the reason why my daughter is dead. Oh! I just know it. I know you two picked on her at school. Am I right? Oh my god! I swear to god. If I ever see you come by my house again, I will turn both of you to my kids. I'm lonely. Oh. I need another child. And you pricks took everything away from me. Oh my god! I slowly exit the woods, 
as his footsteps became more faint along the way. Me and Jay were so shaken up to the point where we remained hidden behind That's our so sad. trees for about a good ten minutes before we thought it was safe enough to head back on the trail. I think the coast is clear. Dude, this is the last time I'm ever doing this. Uh, you think? How in the hell do we get home now? That's when me and Jay had to decide uh, what our next move was. The issue was getting home as we knew the only way out was through the hole in the oh, fence. Oh, no! We obviously didn't want to run into the risk of encountering Mr. G again, so we both mutually yeah, agreed to the opposite direction and find an alternative <laughs> way home through the forest preserve. As we got deeper into the forest, I can recall stepping on a gooey substance, almost like it was a dead cat of some sort. Jay pulled out his cell phone and flashed his light towards the ah! house, only to see a dead squirrel soaking ah! in its own blood. What the oh, hell? Lord. Looks like a- Oh Lord. Ah! 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 Buried it. Ah! That was gnarly. Jay then picked up the no! by its no! and asked me to take a picture of him with his cell phone. Oh, no! I can see ah! He then dropped the ground proceeded to head further into the trail. That's when we saw about a squirrels scattered along the pathway. What the hell? Dude, we, we have to go back. Jay? I began to glance at Jay as he looked at me with a gaunt and horrific what is it? on his face. That's when I realized that he wasn't looking at me. He was looking behind me as he pointed past me with his trembling finger. I turned my head to look behind me, <gasps> only to see a little girl sitting a couple of meters away from us, having a picnic by herself. As I squinted my eyes, I could see her chewing on a dead squirrel, as she then looks at our direction and said, Please bring me home to my daddy. I want him to know that I don't want to have a pet squirrel anymore. That's when me and Jay ran back towards the direction of where we came from, as we couldn't believe what we had just witnessed. As we made it through the hole in the fence, we continuously ran through the neighborhood, past Mr. G's house, until we both made it home in our respective Oh, homes. Lord! I couldn't believe what I had just seen, as the thought of a little girl having a picnic in the middle exactly. of the forest while eating squirrels still gives me chills just thinking about it. What happened next was something I could not right. fathom, or give any proper explanation to. What is it? Jay ends up sending me a text, and then immediately calls me. Hello? Hey dude, look what I just oh, sent you. Oh no. That's when I opened Jay's oh, no. message, only to see the picture I had taken of him while he was holding the mutilated squirrel. Except... I can see the same girl from the picnic standing from a distance behind Jay. She was holding a dead squirrel as well, while replicating the same pose he was in. It's been a while since that incident occurred. I've been seeing a psychiatrist since, as a mental anguish from getting chased down the block with a baseball bat and witnessing what seemed to be the deceased spirit of Mr. G's daughter is something that still terrifies me to this day. Oh, that's one of the best courts they've ever done. Holy moly, Holy Shorts Party! They get a round of applause for that. Holy moly! That's one of the best thoughts yet. Good job, Holy Souls Party. Good job. 
All right, let's get into the next one. Let me just see the time on my video. Yeah, we have time. Let's do this. I can't wait to see what they have next. All right, this one is called... Deep Web Series 2. The prequels. I remember those. I remember. I remember those. True deep web horror story. Terrence Nicholson, my man. I love him. He's amazing. This is a story that took place back when I was living with my ex-girlfriend Jasmine. I had recently moved from my parents' house and into an apartment complex where it was surprisingly quieter compared to the suburban area I was used to. Jasmine That's and I were both college graduates I love that. full time in our respective fields of study. I was in the construction business as I was always a blue collar kind of guy. I know him really well. Revolving around the trades industry. Jasmine was a financial advisor, so she usually got to work from home while I had the usual 9 to 5 that I've become accustomed to for the latter part of my life. On my off time, I would usually hang out with Jasmine at our local park or simply kick back and binge watch several shows on Netflix till I had completely passed out. Going to our local park around the evening time became a daily occurrence of ours. As rowing back and forth on the swings was Jasmine's way of de-stressing just before the very next day at work. This That's a great routine of ours since moving into the That's a Easter egg. Just so we could feel more comfortable within our new whereabouts. Well, at least with the exception of Saturday nights, when I usually video called three close friends of mine from where I originally resided. Uh, Their names okay. were Joe, Whoa, Max, and okay. Steve. This was a way I could stay connected with my friends, as I didn't want to tarnish my friendships with them, nor did I want to be known as the odd friend who cuts people off because he was quote-unquote, whipped. Hey Rick, how's your stay over there? Must be good getting some action with all your parents in the next room, huh? Uh, no comment. Hey boys, we gonna keep talking about Ricky's love life, or are we gonna get this party <laughs> started? Cheers to Cheers. that, baby boy. Dang, what's the rush? We have all night, dude. All right, who wants to go first? This was how me and my friends socially interacted with one another. Like we we like shared what we do now. scary stories and videos from around the internet that would be categorized within the horror genre. My friends and I have been horror addicts since childhood. Yeah, so like thinking over anything horror. That looks like are you afraid of the dog? Back when we were still in elementary school. I didn't want to abruptly end the so-called tradition we had established despite living miles away from them, so I would make sure I video called them every so often. I recall dozing off from the lackluster stories being shared by my two friends Joe and Max, until it was Steve's turn to share his story. You guys ever been on the dark? Oh uh, no, that's no, dangerous. Not me. Not me. Dude, don't tell me you actually went on it. I personally didn't, but my younger brother did. He recently showed me this weird snuff film the other day that I thought you guys might like. I personally was intrigued by the idea as I didn't know or see much content regarding the dark. The dark web is really dangerous. All I knew was that it was a hidden browser that sold illegal products you would find on the street except everything was online. Or at least on the dark side of the internet. That's when Steve extemporaneously invites his younger brother in his room and introduces him. Hey boys, say hi to my brother Eric. What up, hi, dude? Alex. What's up, Eric? You guys want to see something cool? Hell yeah. Uh, sure, dude. This better be good or else I want five minutes of my life back. Eric shares his screen and opens up a video from an array of MP4 files shown on a folder. Oh I then saw God. a low quality video of a woman suspended in midair with her arms and feet attached with steel chains. She was oriented in this awkward bird-like position. Almost like her perpetrator had no intentions of providing any circulation to the woman's extremities. I could see this poor lady desperately wailing through the duct tape on her mouth while hopelessly trying to free herself by vigorously shaking her arms and legs. Tired of using your gross mop? WetJet uses a fresh pad. It's a cleaner way to clean. I remember gasping in awe as oh my I didn't know Lord. If this was some sort of weird hoax or if this was a legitimate snuff film about to unfold. 
That's when I heard a loud sound abruptly come from the background. Like someone was revving an engine to a Oh Hexdoll! I then saw a large oh, Hexdoll wearing a pig mask and holding oh! a in a weird fashion. Oh! It looked like some psycho wanting to renaissance leather face from the Texas chainsaw. No! Based on the way he held oh! the on the attire he presented himself in. You're my lucky number 20. You know that? I never thought I'd reach this milestone, you know? Oh! Hard labor. Just oh! you. Do you even know what oh! you put me through? Huh? Tell the people watching at home how much you appreciate my hard work. Oh! Say it! That's what I thought. You're going to be the best doll I've ever had. You complete me. Oh, <laughs>
couple months later, my speculation would finally come to a halting stop as Jasmine's body was found in a black garden oh! located in a dumpster outside a meat market. Oh! At the time that this occurred, Jasmine oh my was God. unresponsive and in critical condition. She was eventually taken to the hospital and miraculously survived her injuries. About a year or two after her recovery, she was given a formal unpublished interview, but it was reported that she had suffered from severe Stockholm Syndrome. This is what it looked like. Today is currently- Oh my god! The time is approximately 3 p.m. in the afternoon. We are here with Jasmine, who will briefly answer questions based on her current health and share her story. Now Jasmine, if you feel uncomfortable at all during the interview, feel free to let us know and we'll take a break, okay? I want to return home to Master Swing, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. So, first and foremost, how is your health today? I want to return home to Master Swing, where the world is divine and the dolls what? are beautiful. Jasmine, how would you describe your experience while being held in captivity? I want ah! to return home to Master Swing, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. Can you describe your captor's appearance? Jasmine, Jasmine, are you okay? I Do you need some water? I want to return home to Master Swing, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. I want to return home to Master Swing, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. Oh my God! My name Master is. Swing, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. I want to return home to Master Jasmine, Swing, please, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. I want to return home to Master Swing, Tell us his name, where the world damn it. is divine and the dolls are beautiful. Tell I want us to his return name. home to Master Swing, where the world is divine what is and the your dolls master's are beautiful. Name? His name is. P Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! They are making really good shorts! This is why you all must subscribe to Holy Shorts Party. They make amazing shorts. Another a round of applause! That was so good! Wow! 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 No more, I'm ending it right there. All the good notes. That was so good! Home and Shorts Party, I love you! Keep making amazing shorts! Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. <clears throat> I cannot comprehend how amazing that was! Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed! This video and the whole world shorts party enjoyed this video as well. You know what to do. Subscribe to whole world shorts party because they make amazing shorts. They deserve to be praised because they put so much work into them and the love that went into them was brilliant. They have awesome voice actors. Bound of Imaginary, Taylor's Nicholson, Nightmare Fuel. They are an amazing bunch of people. They deserve lots of love and support. And as always guys, Astro for last that like button. And keep relaxing, relaxing, and don't stop believing. And most of all, I love all of you. And I love you, Holy Souls Party.